Hey guys, so with Valentine's Day approaching, this is my pampering routine, sort of say. Um, pretty much what I would do to prepare for a date, kind of the essentials I would bring on the date, and pretty much my tips to make sure your date goes very smoothly. Now I also do have a video where I give tips on how to have a perfect first date. So this Valentine's Day you might be going out with someone new. I'll post that video down below so you could check that out to kind of see what my tips are to make sure the date goes very smoothly and that you get asked out on a second date. And I also do have a video on how to keep your relationship new and fun. Maybe this is your fifth Valentine's Day with the same person and you just don't know what to do this year or you know you're kind of looking for new ideas or new date ideas, new adventures to go on, I'll post that video down below so you can check that out because I do think I have some pretty interesting and unique date ideas in that video. This video is actually a collab with Beauty by Christy. I will post her link and channel down below. Definitely check out her videos. She's also doing a video on what she thinks her Valentine's Day date night essentials are. Like I said, these are just kind of the preparations I would take if I'm going out on any date. Doesn't necessarily have to be for Valentine's Day, but because Valentine's Day is approaching, I figured this video was quite appropriate. So the first aspect of your date needs to be a smooth body. Now, because it is Valentine's Day, you wanna make sure your body is nice and smooth. Um, you know, maybe you're getting ready to self-tan. I wanna show you a few products that I think you should check out and that are key to a perfect, nice body routine. The first is a nice body scrub. This is just one from the Body Shop. I absolutely love the Body Shop scrubs. I think they are so nice, so creamy, and they, they do exfoliate really well without being too harsh. This particular scrub scent is Brazil Nut, and I absolutely love this. As you can see, I'm almost done, which I'm really sad about because this is the last of my body scrubs that I have. I have to go out and purchase a new one. I'm pretty sure they're five for 26 or five for 30 at the body shop, so I do always stock up on them. But this particular scent it smells exactly like Krispy Kreme donuts, and I just, it's such a pleasure to use it because of the scent. And like I said, it does exfoliate really nicely. So after you do exfoliate, it's nice to add a very thick moisturizer. This is just a body butter from Victoria's Secret. The scent is in Wild Scarlet, which I do like. I wouldn't necessarily say I would recommend specifically Victoria's Secret's body, body butters. Um, I do think it moisturizes nice, but I wouldn't say it's the best of the best. But for the scent description, it says it's Juicy Apple, Lily, and Sheer Musk. And that'll bring me to my next product, which is self-tanning products. Now, I do have a self-tanning routine. Um, I do have a certain product that I use from Clarins, which I would say is my double duty product. That product I would use if I'm trying to self-tan for the week or if I'm self-tanning for a special occasion for the weekend. But a self-tanning product that I really like that is very affordable um, is actually from L'Oreal. This is the Sublime Bronze One Day Gel. Now this is exactly what the bottle says. It's a one day gel, but I do find that even after you shower the next day, you do still have a subtle tint on you. This is a very dark lotion. I will squirt some on my hands so you can tell. I can open it which I can't. <laughs> so that is what the self-tanning lotion looks like. Like I said, you just rub it into your skin after you exfoliated, and it just adds a very, very nice color. I know at first it might seem like a little dark, but I swear as soon as you rub it in and apply it to your whole body, it just gives a very nice natural tan look. It gives a very nice bronze look. Um, it does have the self-tanning smell on it, so that is the only downfall to it, but honestly, you're not really gonna find too many products that don't have that smell. If you don't feel like self-tanning and you just wanna add a nice sheer bronze glow, I highly recommend the Too Faced Tanning Bed in a Tube. This is, again, an instant bronzing lotion with gradual self-tanner. This, I would say, again, even after you wash it off your body, it does leave a nice subtle tint. This is very glowy, and I do apply this on top of my self-tanner. Just adds a very nice bronzy glow. Um, I like wearing this when I'm going to the beach or if I have like an event that I'm going to where you know maybe I want my legs to seem perfect. It just kind of adds like a bronzed panty, pantyhose look if that makes any sense. So I really like applying this to my legs and my overall body. 
When I think of Valentine's Day, I think of big, sexy hair. Um, some people might think pretty when you hear Valentine's Day, but I just think sexy. So my product to achieve that big bombshell hair, which mine's probably not looking too much bombshell, but more like bird's nest, um, but actually I like using volumizing powders. Now this is the Not Your Mother's Girl Powder Volumizing Powder, and what it basically is, is it looks like baby powder. So it's just a texturizing powder, so basically, you know, you'll lift up your hair, you'll put it like a baby powder, as if you're applying like a dry powder for um, greasiness, or if you're trying to absorb any oil. That's what this product does. It does absorb oil and it does add volume at the same time. So I find that it's a very nice two-in-one product. And again, it just gives you that nice big bombshell hair. Whether you're wearing your hair straight or curly, I love the look of volumizing powder. It does leave a little bit of an after effect. You're definitely gonna be able to feel that you have something in your hair. But after washing your hair, that product buildup will come out. My next essential for a Valentine's Day date is a pretty pink or red nail polish. I just have a few of my favorites here that I want to show with you. The first one is by Essie and this is Forever Yummy. Just a very nice, um, kind of like a ruby slipper red color. If you want to be a little more toned down but still wear pink, this is Butterfly Kiss by L'Oreal. This is a very pretty like lavender milky pink. Love this color. One of my favorite pinks of all time is again Essie and this is cute as a button. Absolutely love this color. It's perfect for the spring and summertime. And a new color that I picked up that I'm actually going to get my nails done today, so please ignore them. Um, but I found this color from B is for Beauty, Taylor, my girl on YouTube. Please check her out. Her link will be down below. But this is actually Wish on a Starfish by China Glaze, and this is from their new collection. So it's a very pretty pink with like a gold sheen to it, a little bit of gold glimmer. So I love this color and I can't wait to get it on my nails. However, if you're in a pinch for time and you don't have time to maybe get acrylics on, or you don't even have time to paint your nail, really, really highly recommend these impress stick on nails honestly I would definitely say they last four to five days you literally just peel off the sticker and pinch them on your nails this design I don't think it has a design name but it's just a really pretty like floral um, hot pink and coral and purple color love these they come in French manicure reds designs anything you could think of they come and they're about five dollars so it's a lot cheaper than getting a full set put on there's no sense in having a nice fresh manicure if your hands are dry. So if you're going out on a date, I would highly recommend putting a little bit of hand lotion in your clutch. This is just the EOS hand lotion and the scent is in berry blossom. I love that it's in the egg shape and I just love applying hand lotion if I'm bored in class or even if I'm out on the date, you know, after you've eaten, maybe you just washed your hands after the bathroom. You know, some people don't like public bathrooms. So I would just apply some hand lotion, especially if you're trying to hold your special someone's hand you want to make sure that they are nice and smooth and that he's not holding your hand and wondering if he grabbed the wrong person's hand and he's touching the waiter's hand instead of yours because cracked dry hands are not cute. Now I'm sure he's going to be impressed if your hands are nice and smooth, but he's going to be more impressed if your lips are nice and smooth. So the first product I want to talk about to achieve those nice smooth lips is a lip exfoliator. Now of course you can just use, you can make your own using brown sugar or salt and a toothbrush and just scrub that way, but I find that this e.l.f. lip exfoliator is so convenient and easy to throw in your bag. It's literally just a lipstick, um, but it's a sugar scrub as you guys can see. So I apply this to my lips. Um, you know, pretty much every other morning or when I feel like my lips are a little cracked and need kind of like a boost just takes off that dead top layer and really really helps make your lips nice and nice and smooth so that your lipstick can apply a lot easier so as soon as you're done applying your exfoliator I would highly recommend sticking on a very thick lip moisturizer this is the Nivea lip butter and raspberry kiss raspberry rose kiss and as you can see I'm almost done with it I'm hitting towards the bottom of the pan but this is a very nice thick butter. I like applying this at night or in the mornings or just before I'm going to apply any heavy lip products just because it forms a nice barrier and really allows that lipstick to stick onto something. Now of course when you're going on a date you can wear lip glosses or lipsticks but I kind of recommend sticking to something a little more natural just because you won't have to apply it as much and like I said if you're trying to go in for a kiss he does not want lipstick all around his mouth. So the product that I want to talk to you guys about is the NYX 
butter glasses. I have a whole video on these. I love them so, so much. If you have not checked these out before, you need to. NYX can be found at Ulta, Target now, some Targets. If you guys have Target by your area, go check it out. But I absolutely love the butter glasses. They are so smooth and creamy and apply like a dream. This one is an eclair, so it's a very nice milky pink color. And like I said, it feels like you have nothing on your lips and this is perfect for a date because you won't have to worry about whether your lips look nice and he won't have to worry about whether your lip gloss has transferred onto his mouth. Because it's Valentine's Day, I think a nice subtle glow is very appropriate. This is one of my favorite highlighters and it's by NYX and it's called Angel. It's a very pretty like frosty milky pink color and at first it says it's a blush but I think it's beautiful as a highlight. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to tell. It is just so pretty across your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, and even in your cupid's bow. Definitely put a highlighter in your cupid's bow for Valentine's Day because boy, are your lips gonna look kissable. The last products I actually wanna talk about are kind of like clutch essentials or products that you should keep in your purse. Of course, I said you should definitely have some hand lotion in there, but in case you're getting a little oily, maybe you've gotten excited over the day, or maybe you're just sweating, because I'm sweating filming this video, so I should probably use one of these. But these are blotting tissues. This is just from Blum Naturals. I'm pretty sure I got this in a Beauty Box 5 a long time ago. I know NYX has them clean and clear. You could basically get any brand of blotting sheets. They're just oil absorbing facial tissues. So you just kind of blot them on your face like so, and it absorbs all your oil. You'll see the oil transfer onto the sheet so you'll know how nasty your face looked. And then of course afterwards you can just touch up with any powder. So these are must for any date and just a perfect purse essential as well. The last thing I want to talk about is perfume. Now, of course, you're not going to chuck around a whole big bottle of perfume, so I recommend bringing any oils or maybe a roll-on perfume. I do have some roll-on perfumes where they are. I couldn't really tell you, but I do like roll-on oils as well. This is just from Demeter. I really like Demeter's perfumes. They have, honestly, any scent you could think of, literally any scent you could think of. This scent happens to be in rain, just smells very nice, very fresh, and when you're on your date, maybe you run to the bathroom real quick, you just apply that to your inner wrist, maybe to your neck, so that when he rushes by you, you'll get a nice little whiff of rain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just kind of me telling you my favorite pampering essentials, what I would do if I was going on a date, and what I would be doing if I was spending Valentine's Day with someone. However, I am gonna be doing this pampering routine for Valentine's Day, just finishing it off with a box of chocolates by myself, but that is okay with me. Please check out Christy's video down below. She also mentioned her essentials for a date night, so I'll post her channel down below. Go subscribe, she's amazing, and I love her channel, and I know you will too. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye. Mwah.